Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, it's time to do colouring, completed colouring pages for the month of September. I did 25. Which, wait, there's a lot of colour by numbers, a lot of simple ones, so I'm not going to lie. But I, I like them, so anyway. This first one is Halloween colour by number by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. I like this book. And, oh, let's find it. I, I'm doing these in order, so I did this one of the pumpkin. And I'm not sure what pencils I did, pens I did it with. I think it's a, a bit of the uh, hoo hoos and. 7 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would say it's the oh hoo hoo markers. Um, but yeah, it's fun. They're big spaces. I've actually missed one out. I missed out the normal grey. So I will go and finish that off. I don't know. I thought I don't. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. It's hard to tell. Anyway, I'm not worried about it. It looks nice. I enjoyed doing it. That one. I did one in the Jade Summer Summer Colouring Book. Yeah. Which one did I do? I have to find this now. Right, here we go. And I, I just did this one of the. Um, umbrellas. I think this was using the Bic Intensities. I think that's what I want to say. That's the ones it was. Like I said, nice simple one, no back in. Just thought, that looks alright. It'd be fun. And then I did another one in the Colour by Number for Adults by uh, Prachi Duan Sachdeva. Again, in order with the oh hoo hoos, I did this one of the witch, and I do like that one. I think this is lovely. I'll be coming again in these ones this month, hopefully. Although I have pulled all my Halloween books out that I've never coloured in to to have a go in. So okay. next, I've got fifty diamond mandalas coloured by number by uh, Sachin Sachdeva. Um, I don't have many of their books, but I do have this one, and I, I, this was the first one I got because I thought I really liked it. And as I normally do, I'm doing them in order, and I did the second one. Again, I'm pretty sure this was done with the Gerkst 48 markers, the Amazon Slimline markers, and then also with a few other ones like a peach one from the skin tones I've got and a, uh, a lavender from something else um, because there are certain colours that aren't in it but I've got them all written down now so that one I, en I mean I enjoy doing these patterns they are fun oops I did one in stuffed animals uh, by Jade Summer again this is in this is a book I hadn't coloured in before so this is one that goes towards um Ravella's Colour Mahord September 2021 and I did The Little Girl and the Frog um, I'm really not sure what markers they were they're going to be either yeah I'd say oh hoo hoos or something like that or even possibly the Arteza Everblends I don't think it's Everblends because I normally leave the thing in I think it was the oh hoo hoos I use those a lot to be fair I did one PDF this month, and this was one from Colour in Heaven. I'm not sure who it's by. It's D. B. B. Ology or something. But I like this one. I, I, I like the way it looks, and it was good fun to do. So again, using the uh, um, a skin tone or hoo hoo markers. And some pencils for her makeup, apart from her lips, obviously. Put that to one side to go in my PDF folder. Uh, Jade Summer Colour by Number Mandalas. I love doing these every month, at least one every month. And I did this one. Again, these are done using the Oh Hoo Hoo's. And I've only done this one. Didn't take, that doesn't take very long, it's very small, so it doesn't take very long at all. And of course, one in Colour by Number Flowers. one again all using the oh hoo hoo markers though it's changing slightly because this light blues go in and I've got to change it to another light blue because <laughs> I've used it so much it's nearly out there's still some in there but not much 
We will get the no hoo hoos again. I do like them. Colour by number patterns. This is the normal pattern book. And this one, as you can see, took up a lot of the blue. That's no wonder it's running out. And this again is from uh, the oh hoo hoos. I am thinking of getting a set of 100 super tips and just doing them with that. They don't colour as well. Looks up like that. That's a super tips one. But of course it doesn't matter that the paper soaks it up and I just do these because I like to relax by doing them like when I'm in bed I did do one in colour by number Christmas because I enjoy this book and I'm like I don't care oops got that turned over it's got squashed and I did this one again with the oh hoo hoo markers I could have put glitter on it but I kind of actually like the fact that it's not sparkly I do like the colour by numbers book that Jade Summer put out. I wish I'd do some more actually. And then of course beautiful patterns, which I've done a fair few in by Jade Summer again. This one again, just done with the Ohuhu -Hoo markers. As you can see, these two blues are running out a little bit. So we have got some pencil work coming up, and yeah, but it's been a very patterny month for me. I did another one in the Creatures of the Night special from by Sarah Richter. Now you'll have seen this if you're on my Instagram. Let's get to it. I, I did this one which is called Good Night. And this was done using the Prismacolor Premier Pencils. And um, that's all I used on that one. I like the way it came out. I didn't do too much to the cat. I didn't want him to be too dark. And I gave her bluish skin as if she'd not that long passed but I enjoyed doing that one. It was good. It took me a while, but I really enjoyed that one. I did one in the Sally Bear 300 mandalas. Now, normally I do these in order, but I didn't because I wanted to try a pen out. It didn't work. So I went back to my big intensities and did this one. There's a, a few pages. Not that many, only a couple. Oh no, I did go back and do this. I was going to do a different one. I obviously decided to do that one instead. I'm sure I picked a different one in here. Oh, it must have been a different book. Oh, it was Rose Windows. I'm being a bit daft today. So yeah, that was just on the big intensities. I was going to use a different one, but I didn't. First body colour I did with was J, uh, Chelsea Jade Murray, who sadly has deleted her channel. I do understand why. Um, she's not enjoying making the videos, so that's fine. Uh, it's the best thing to do. I wouldn't delete mine, but I'd just leave it there and not do anything for a while. Um, and we did this one, which I really like. It's uh, two little mermaids and a whale thing. He's got a little top hat and that on, and the fishes. And that was fun, and that was done using, I'm pretty sure it was Prismacolors. Yeah, Prismacolor Premiers, and then the background was my Mozart Metallic Watercolors. I did one in 100 Beautiful Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I haven't done one in a mandala book for a long time, and I did this one. And this was done using the Amazon Slimline the Gurks pencils. I don't have the 48 set in at the moment, only a 24, which is getting because I would like another set of them because they're really good. So I will be keeping an eye out to see if they come back in at some point. Yeah, they have such bright colours. They're really nice. Won't be long till they're running out either. I finally finished my Hansel and Gretel picture with in Fairy Stories and I did this as a, a buddy colour with um, Molly Newland. I'd only started it and finished it. There was a lot to do. And this is a mixture of markers, it's a Hoo Hoo, it's Everblend, it's the Amazon ones and so on. There's just lots of different markers used on here. Uh, the Oh Hoo Hoo pastels, uh, pastel colours. And yeah, it's really nice. It turned out really nice. So, that's that one. Uh, I did one in Rose Windows. I haven't had this out before. I used the same pens I usually use. This is the one I used a different one. I was going to use something else. Didn't like the way the pens looked. So I went back to my uh, standards. So I have got three previous to this one that I need to do. And I will probably go back and do them with the Amazon ones this month. Or at least one of them. I like this book. It's so easy to do and it's just relaxing. I did uh, another one from Colour for Colour Your Hoard. Uh, September I did one in Fantastic Beauties by Damita Victoria. And I, I did this one. Now, um, the background's a bit dodgy. Um, the reason being is that I I don't like 
these busy flowers in the background. I normally just get a marker and black them out, but this time I put gold paint on and it hasn't covered it very well, but I might just go back to the black, black marker. I've got a very good black marker that might actually work. So this is uh, various markers, mostly um, Oh Hoo Hoo, I think, I want to say. It normally is. And of course I've used Prismacolor pencils on the skin, on her makeup and everything, just to give her some bright makeup. I like I like these books. I like covering these pretty ladies. <gasps> my favourite one of the month. I'm going to tell you now it's my favourite one because it's from The Beauty of Horror 5. Another gorgeous colouring book which is of course Horn to Fame. And uh, I did this as a buddy colour with, oh it's stuck because it was probably a bit tacky. Um, John from Colouring by Moonlight and we did the Marilyn Monroe page so Funny enough, I posted this on my uh, Facebook and nobody's commented on it, but on Instagram people love it. Yes, you see a bit of uh, papers come off there, I'll go over that. It's fine. It's, yeah. Um, I'll go over that with a bit of marker later. But yeah, I really loved this. It was so much fun. I love this book. I think I'm probably going to colour every single one in this book. It's amazing. I love this book. So yeah. So that was that one. Still my favourite for the month. I finally finished this one in Magical Flowers again, Colour Your Hoard 2021, because uh, I hadn't done one in it. It's the first one, and I did this one. This was done using the uh, Scribblicious pens, uh, gel, glitter gel pens from the works, apart from the black outline, because I lost the black one when I started doing it, and I still haven't found it. It's in the living room somewhere. No idea. It might be under the coffee table, mixed up with all the colouring books that are under there of Jennifer's. But yeah, I did that one. I don't like that, but okay, at least it's one another one I've done a picture out of. I've done quite a lot of Calamar Hordes this month. The next one is another Calamar Horde one, and that is Flora from by Maria Trolle. And I did this girl in the tree with the blue bird. Well, I've made him blue, and I did her as a sort of dryad type figure. So she's all green with green hair. And the reason I did it was her top is very similar to the bark. I just made it a slightly different colour and put green over the top and of course it's got like little peeling things like leaves up there no background but I really like the way that one turned out there are some finger marks on there uh, that was done with polychromos <laughs> just in case you're interested so now we move on to another one for colour my hoard which is Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova we did this one on camera and I finished it just finished the last little bit off which was just uh I can't remember what it was now the this bit here and that and some of the other bits but I didn't want to do a background I thought background would probably ruin it I just love it I think he's so cute if I hadn't done Marilyn this month he would have been my favourite he is gorgeous my little puppy I haven't photographed this one and put it on my insta so I'll probably do that tonight so yeah love that one he's so cute that little puppy that's one side so I can photograph it uh, you saw this in my haul, uh, stained glass Egyptian uh, designs by Sashin Sash Deva Colour by number one. Let's take that out. Again, this was done with using the Amazon pens, the slimline ones. And I just did the first one, and I like it. I like it. I've coloured in Tutan Hamun's mask before in another book, and this is just a different way of doing it. So I really, I love Egypt. This is one I'm going to do loads in. It's, this will probably be, even though I've only done one page, when I finish very quickly. So I love anything to do with ancient Egypt, as you know. Let's take that down, put that there. Two more to go. Next one is Deborah Muller's Bizarrely Beautiful. Again, you just saw this in my haul. So as you can tell, I'm trying to colour stuff that I buy this month. Uh, when I, As I buy it, I do try and colour them as soon as I buy them. It doesn't always work, but... I coloured this one in. Okay, this was uh, done using um, the skin is a Ohuhu. The rest of it is the Amazon Slimline markers. I think the black mark is the ones from Lidl's. And then of course the makeup, that's just a bit of um, Prismacolor just to give us some makeup. Sometimes I don't even put makeup on them, but I've started doing that a lot now. Um, so, yeah, that's that one from Bizarrely Beautiful by Deborah Muller. I love Deborah Muller. And finally, I did one in Cute and Spooky. I 
again this was uh, the Jade Summer one, it came out last month and you saw this in my haul, I got two of them, Halloween ones from Jade Summer, but I've only coloured this one and I coloured in The Haunted Tree and I like it and I, I, I did sort of a luminous ghost and cobwebs just to make it look a bit, ooh, a red spider and I really enjoyed it, it's a really sweet little book. So those are all the pages, now that was done with though, um, oh hoo hoos, <laughs> I, sometimes I've got to think about it because I just don't know, um, but yeah it was because remember that was the oh hoo hoo bright one. So those are all the pages I coloured in September. I had a really good month, I really enjoyed it. Like it's a lot of patterns because they do help me relax when I'm feeling a bit. <sighs> Um, so I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what your favourite is. Like I said, my favourite's the Marilyn one. Yours might be a different one. Obviously, it would be between Marilyn and Tenderful Enchantment's puppy because he's so gorgeous. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot of Halloween colouring this month. I've got all the Halloween books out um, and witch books out that I've not coloured in. So I've got a book on zomb of zombies. I've got another Beauty with Horror. In fact, I've got two. I've got... Uh, Molly Harrison Halloween one and so on and I, I'm going to try and colour in as many of those as I can and in fact after this video I'm going to go and sit and pick out the pages I'm thinking of colouring in and uh, uh, I want to crack on with that so like I said I hope you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you had leave me a comment and I will see you in the next video which may well be a colouring chat but it won't be a Halloween one so I will see you soon it might be a Halloween one but it might not bye guys